Hurt With You from Susie Quattro's 2011 album, In the Spotlight. Chris Cordani here, and so is Susie Quattro. Susie, you kept true to your rock roots as some of your peers went more electronic in the 80s. Was there anyone trying to push you into that direction? Oh, my God. <laughs> they could have pushed with the, with the, with an army behind them. I, I'm not an electronic person. I am very old-fashioned that way. I like to be in the studio with musicians making the music where the bass bounces off the drums and the guitar player bounces off the horn part. And the, you know, it's, it's the only way to make music. I think they've, I think they've bastardized it, you know. And, and I must say, when it got electronic, it lost me for a while. You even took a retro turn with some 60s covers in your 80s music. Yeah, yeah, sure. But we've had a system right since the first album to do one or two covers on every album. We've stuck true to that right the way through. That includes the new In the Spotlight. And just like we were discussing a few moments ago, you took a very synth-based song, Strict Machine, which we'll play a little bit later on at this program, and made it a rockin' guitar tune. Well, you know, I, I was a little bit uh, sneaky in that, too, because I put in a teeny bit of can the can. Because as I was putting down the vocal, and I said to Mike, am I wrong, you know, Mike Chapman, am I wrong here? Or is this much like can the can? He said it is. I said, okay, let me try something. And I put a little bit in. And I said, can we do that? He said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it's right there in the bridge, too. Yeah, that's what I did. Susie, you were a major influence to a lot of the girl bands that came along in the 70s and 80s and even today um, a lot of them still list you as an influence talk about some of the female-led bands of today that you think are uh, kind of bringing in a new generation of uh, great music i think there's i don't know if there's so many bands right now but i think that there's a lot of odd female musicians scattered around in big bands which never used to be you know you got people like Orianthe and all that, and uh, you know you, I see them here and there. So I, I mean, I don't I don't know if there's a big band at the moment. I mean, the last one I can remember that was pretty big was the Bangles. Then you had the Go Go's. You had Bertha around our time. You had Fanny way back when. You've got um, there are a lot of good ones. I can tell you that. Yeah, there's some good ones coming up. I think there seems to be a movement for females to gather for us now, which is a good thing. We see a lot more female lead guitarists these days. Uh, you do. Yes. Uh, Which is great. And again, back in the day, it may have been a piano on occasion or uh, uh, singing kind of slower songs. There were your exceptions, like uh, yourself, Janis Joplin, The Runaways. But today, it's more prominent. Well, Joplin, of course, wasn't a musician. There's always been um, girl singers. Right. Always. But Joplin broke the mold as far as being a ballsy girl singer. She She has that. Uh, thing all for herself but uh, musicians wise that's what was never taken seriously you know not for a long time and then uh, I mean you know I still have to do a 20 minute bass solo every night just to show them that I actually play 20 minute bass solo that's going to be fun well it's not boring I guarantee you that I've always said to myself if I do a bass solo I make sure it's not boring Susie if not for your accident you would have been in Detroit this year for the music awards show performing with your sister Patty how often do you play with your sisters these days well, that's not something that ever happens. Um, it was going to happen in Detroit just for the award show because the Pleasure Seekers and Cradle were getting something, and then I was getting a solo one, so it seemed kind of fun if I could play with the original band, but that didn't happen because of my injury. Other than that, you know, they're, um, I mean, they haven't worked for a long time. I know Patty's doing a few things now, but they weren't up and running as musicians at all. I was, but they were over there, and I was over in, the, in Europe most of the time, so it wasn't something that happened. Susie Quattro is with me on Revenge of the 80s Radio. Susie, you recorded a new album in 2011, In the Spotlight. Talk about it. Well, Mike Chapman, who I've always worked with, we've never stopped, he said uh, it was after Back to the Drive, which was my last studio album before this one, which was an autobiographical album. And I kind of got that out of my system. And then I wrote my book unzipped. And then Mike called me. And he said, uh, okay, now you've got all this autobiographical stuff out of your system. He said, now let me do the next album. I know exactly what to do. And he did. He took me down a nice path. He said he knew the songs. He knew exactly the musicians to use. And we made the album. And it, it's gotten just absolutely rave reviews. Susie, some of the guest musicians on this album are rather interesting. I love the name of the band, The Neighborhood Bullies. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> God. 
but it was good, you know. It was great to be in the studio and play. That's the main thing, you know. It was, it was a real album with real musicians, and Mike chose a lot of good songs. Um, my, my tribute to Elvis is on there, too, singing with Angels, which is one of my personal favorites. It's a good album, and like I said, all through my career, I think the two albums that I got the best reviews for was Back to the Drive and In the Spotlight, my last two albums. It's very hard rocking. It's uh, a little bit of today's flavor, but really mostly Suzy Quattro from the 70s and 80s kind of mixing it in. And again, not too much of the electronic stuff, but really hard rocking guitar and bass. Yeah, I think if Suzy Quattro was starting now, this is the album she would make. And the Jordanaires also uh, contributed a little bit here. Yeah, sure. That's on my tribute to Elvis. The song is called Singing with Angels, and you've got James Burton on guitar just you know one of my heroes and you've got the jordanaires on the backing vocals and it's, it is my tribute to my influence from the age of six elvis Presley, one of them i didn't even ask you that earlier who might be some of your other influences well he was my main one and then i became a big fan of otis redding so he taught me phrasing i became a big fan of can't heat uh i learned a bit of bass soloing from him Jameson, Motown, my favorite bass player of all time. And that was kind of it. That's, that's where I got my style from. October 29th, you'll be staging a one-woman show called Unzipped at the London Hippodrome. What are showgoers going to see? Uh, well, it runs for six nights from October the 29th to November the 3rd. And it's called Unzipped. And it is a walk through my life. We have some clips you have some lots of pictures i got four musicians on stage plus myself uh but it's more unplugged uh i don't want to give too much away it is it is called like the autobiography but it's uh you shouldn't come with a preconceived idea it's going to be a going to be an unusual show lots of surprises you'll only find out if you go do you have plans to take that anywhere else yes uh this is a little testing thing for me i got to see how it goes see how i like it and if it goes good i'd love to take it all over the world Perfect. We'd love to see it here in America. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? Yes. I'll be there. I know that. Okay. Are you planning to tour again in the future? Yes, I'm touring all the time now. I'm just starting to do gigs again, finally. Did my first one August 27th. I've got another two coming up next week, and then I start to work. You know, then then we're letting the gigs come in again because, uh, obviously, I couldn't do anything with my injury. Susie Quattro, thank you again for being with us here on Revenge of the 80s Radio. My pleasure. You can catch up with Susie on her website, suzyquattro.com, and her Facebook fan page. You can also find her on Twitter. Susie, let's play a single from your 2011 album in the spotlight, Strict Machine.